Using Android Auto and Apple CarPlay inside of the 2021 Lincoln Corsair is a very simple process. Now for all Ford and Lincoln vehicles, when you are using Sync 3 for Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, you have to physically be connected to the vehicle. So step one, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our USB plug, and as you can see there, we do have a few USB ports. So all we're gonna do is take this and we're just going to insert it into any of the available USB ports. After you're plugged in, all you're gonna do, so starting off in the iPhone, we're just going to physically plug into the phone and watch what happens. Apple CarPlay lets you use your phone in a way, so it's going to give us a lot of options. We need to make sure that we hit continue in order for CarPlay to work. So we're just gonna hit continue, and in order to be able to use it, we do have to agree to the terms and conditions. So we're just going to agree. There we go, and it's going to say we have to unlock the iPhone. So just enter your combination, enter your face ID, or just your fingerprint, whatever the case may be, in order for you to unlock. But as you can see there, we've got my screen now set up for Apple CarPlay. It really is that simple. We've got our basic sync three, uh, basic sync system, so if we want to jump back to this main screen, or we can jump back into Apple CarPlay by pressing that button. We can use Google Maps, we can use Apple Maps, we can use Waze, so whatever you've currently got installed on your phone. You can go through your podcasts in a number of other things. Get back to the home screen by pressing this button and we do have the ability to edit what currently shows up there and it's very straightforward to do that. Now after you are set up there one thing to note is that on your phone you will have something else showing up saying that they want you to use Sync 3 while the phone is locked. We absolutely want to make sure we do that because we want Sync 3 to be active when our phone is physically locked. But as you can see there we can now use Google Maps or Apple Maps instead of the regular built-in maps. So if you have a preference to use one or the other you've got the capabilities to do do that and just pressing the home screen will bring it bring us back to this default or sync in order to bring us back to the actual home screen and then again as i mentioned we just have to select that in order to be able to get back into our apple carplay screen in order to be able to get rid of apple carplay very very straightforward process just click on apple carplay we can either disable it completely or we can completely remove my phone and connect and there we go so we are now physically disconnected for apple carplay and we can disable it from there or all we have to do is just unplug and we're set to go. The process is going to be the same for Android Auto. So on an Android device, all you're gonna do is take a USB port and we're just going to plug ourselves into USB there. And it's going to take a second. There you go, same idea. So we do have the Android Auto screen now, so same thing, we just have to connect to that. And we have a number of different privacy terms and conditions. The so same thing, in order to use Android Auto in the Corsair, we do have to agree to this. And then as you can see, so it's trying to initialize on the phone. So let's take a look at the phone for a second now. Welcome to Android Auto. So we just want to unlock in order to continue. So we're just gonna unlock. And here we go. So Android Auto would like to turn on Bluetooth to pair with the vehicle. So yes, we're gonna connect with that. Okay, there we go. And we are now connected, we're paired. It's really that simple. Really just a plug and play solution. On the phone, allow access to messages. Yes, we wanna do that. So we're just gonna hit allow there and automatically download the contacts. We do wanna do that as well. So a couple things to point out. Let's actually jump back to the home screen for a second there. Now I do have Waze installed on this Android device, so we can either use Google Maps or we can use Waze. We can jump back to the regular sync home screen just by pressing this, jump back into Android Auto from there, which takes us to our basic setting screens. But same thing, we can look at some basic settings on the phone. We can look at phone calls, text messages, things like that. So it's really, really straightforward, really, really simple. Along the bottom there, we can switch between either Waze or Google Maps. So really, really cool that we've got the capabilities to be able to do that. And then jumping back into the home screen again. So we can also just press this Maps in order to hotkey directly into our Maps on either Waze or Google Maps instead. And then jumping between our podcasts, jumping back to the home screen. So we've got our podcast set up and a lot of other options also. And then same thing in order to be able to disconnect, we can literally either pull this out or if you'd rather default back to our traditional setup for using the built-in navigation, just going to hit Android Auto. We can either completely remove my phone or we can turn Android Auto off, which is going to default to the factory navigation instead. And then we're just going to remove the phone from the vehicle and then just disconnect from there.